moving on from, from Wednesday night and, and the Wigan match next Monday Doncaster Rovers obviously a, a club that's very close to your heart obviously started your career they played several seasons at, at Doncaster obviously you must have plenty of good memories of, of playing for, for Doncaster Rovers yeah it's always nice going back to where you started your career you know I, mean? I know it's a different venue now because we were just down the road at Bellevue which is a completely different stadium to where they are now so, but it's always nice that whoever gives you your first break as a you know as a club football club to give you a professional contract that you know have admiration for them and yeah I spent uh, I think we're eight years as a player when I left school uh, my brother was there as well so uh, it's always nice to go back but like I say you still got to be professional I, I want to come out of there uh, Monday night with three points you know no matter if they've, they've helped me along in my career or what. And obviously Doncaster we know Monday night game Sky Sports live TV coverage as a, as, a, as a management, you remember the coach staff, I guess, that, does that play any part? Do you, you kind of forget the cameras once you're at the stadium, You've got really? To, yeah, you have to do. You know, we do as staff, because we've been in the game that long now, you, you know, you get used to it. To, when you are playing in, in, in front of the TV cameras, the, the ones you've got to concentrate on, on your players. You know what I mean? If you're not on regular, uh, on TV, and, you know, you, you're coming up on Sky uh, once once every six months or something like that, then the players start thinking something different when they're on the night, you know, oh, I'll try this, I'll try that, where we just want to keep playing from the shape and keep keeping the same system and keep doing what, what we want them to do, you know, and uh, hopefully uh, that will come to the throw when we, when we get there on Monday. And as we mentioned, obviously the game on Monday night, the fact that there's no Saturday game for us this weekend, does it give you and, and Sam and the chance to kind of see what else is going on around League One, maybe catch a, a game or so ahead of our match on Monday? Yeah, that's what you do. You go and look at the oppositions and who, you, who you've got coming up uh, in the next few games. So, so yeah, so we'll be out Saturday. You know, it's not like going at home and sitting in front of the TV watching just sailing or whatever. So uh, we'll be out there uh, looking at the opposition and what we've got coming up as well. And, and team news ahead of this Monday, obviously we know there's, there's a few days now between the the game but Paul Taylor and Mary Patrick missed on Wednesday night we understand that the, those two are not too serious though in terms of the injuries that they've got yes they've got niggly injuries you know what I mean you don't want to make them worse so you, you know especially when you saw the conditions last night as well you know uh, you want to make sure that everybody's going to be fit for these last uh, last 11 games uh, and you'd rather miss you know one game than than six or seven and you want as many many of the players in the squad as, as you can and everybody fully fit